A very warmest welcome to everyone in my new video. In our previous videos, we are talking about what is food poisoning, what is food fortification. So today we are going to talking about what is food additives. Okay, we are talking everything deeply about food additives. Okay, what type of additives are added to food? Okay, so what are food additives? Food additives are substances added to product to perform a specific technological functions. These functions include preserving, that is increasing shelf life or inhibiting the growth of pathogens or adding color and and enhancing flavor for interest and variety there are over 300 permitted additives that can be used in uk flavoring are not included in this figure as they are classified differently however flavor enhancer substances which make flavor stronger okay are included a list of approved additives can be found at the food standard agency websites okay so there will be a figure of jam okay jam contains several kind of additives including emulsifier and gelling agent what are e numbers okay and e numbers is given to an additives to show that it has been approved for use in europe e stands for europe okay the european food safety authority is responsible for regulating e numbers and making sure that are that they are safe for consumption e numbers apply to all additives regardless of whether they come from natural source or are man made e number are individually approved for use in different foods this means that an e number cannot be used in any food but only in a list of foods that is that it is approved for where it is deemed appropriate and safe okay so anthocyanin e163 can be extracted from red cabbage and used as red food coloring okay caramel e150 is a synthetic coloring commonly used to color colas okay like coca cola types of additives additives may be natural okay so talking about natural found naturally such as extract from beetroot juice e162 used as a coloring agent second synthetic man made identical copy of substances found naturally such as benzoic acid e210 used as preservative third artificial produced synthetically and not found naturally such as nicin e234 used as a preservative in some dairy product pasteurized liquid eggs and in semolina and tapioca pud pudding preservatives preservatives aims to first prevent the growth of microorganism which could cause food spoilage and lead to food poisoning second extend the shelf life of product so that they can be distributed and sold to the consumer with a longer shelf life for example bacon ham corned beef and other cured meats and are often treated with nitrite and nitrate e249 e252 during the curing process antioxidants antioxidants aim to first prevent food containing fat or oil from going rancid due to oxidation that is developing an unpleasant odor and flavor second prevent the browning of cut fruit vegetable fruit juices and so increase shelf life and appearance vitamin c also known as ascorbic acid or e300 is one of the most widely used antioxidants now talking about colors colors aim to first restore color lost during processing or storage example marrow fat peas second ensure that each batch produced is identical in appearance or does not appear of third reinforce color already in food example enhance the yellowness of a custard fourth give color to food which otherwise would be colorless example soft drinks and so make them more attractive color and hyperactivity okay certain combinations of artificial food color have been linked to a negative effect on children's behavior first sunset yellow second quinine yellow third carmo carmoisin okay fourth allura red fifth uh, tetrazine and sixth ponceu 4r okay these colors are used in soft drinks sweets and ice creams food and drink containing any of these six color must carry a warning on the packaging which reads may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children's flavor enhancers okay flavor enhancers bring out the flavor in food without imparting a flavor of their own example monosodium glutamate that is also called msg and the european code is e621 enhance umami flavor flavoring on the other hand are added to a wide range of foods usually in a small amount to give a particular taste these do not have 
European numbers because they are controlled by different food laws. Ingredients list will say if flavoring have been used but individual flavoring might not be named. What are sweeteners? Okay, now talking about sweetener. Sweetener include first intense sweetener. Example, S sulfam K, aspartame and stevia have a sweetness many times that of sugar and therefore are used in a small amount example in soft drink and sweetening tablets second bulk sweeteners example sorbitol having a similar sweetness to sugar and are used at similar level sorbitol is often used in sugar free chewing gum and sweets okay glucose the first figure is glucose okay that, uh, that you will be saw on that ppt okay so glucose on the top and aspartame at the bottom both are sweet but are structurally different okay now talking about acids base and buffers acid base and buffers control the acidity or alkalinity of food for safety and stability of flavor that is very important line okay anti crack anti caking agent anti caking agent ensure free movement or flow of particles example in dried milk or table salt anti foaming agent anti foaming agent prevent or disperse frothing example in the production of fruit juice now what are glazing agent glazing agent provide a protective coating or sheen on the surface of food example confectionery for appearance and shelf life now talking about emulsifier stabilizer gelling agent and thickness okay so emulsifier help mixing ingredients together that would normally separate example lecithin now talking about stabilizers stabilizers prevent ingredients from separating again example locust bean gum okay now emulsifier stabilizer give food a consistent texture they can be found in low fat spreads gelling agent are used to change the consistency of a food example pectin which is used to make jam thickeners help give food body and can be found in most sauces okay so thank you very much to watching my video regarding food additives if you if you liked it so please share with your friends okay so bye